have got on the other line Jeff Banks, who's normally sitting on the panel uh, this evening and had prior engagements, but kindly taken time out to be on the phone. Good evening, Jeff. Good evening, Pete. Um, I, I, I'm going to quote one of your tweets this morning. You said, all weather racing, racing shame, brushed under the carpet, a disgrace this morning. You obviously um, have got strong feelings about this, and, and uh, you know, it's interesting to get them, Jeff. Well, <laughs> I mean, once again, we've got another in another heist from from Barney Curley, uh, uh, you know, on on the bookmakers. Now, now, obviously, people are going to have no sympathy whatsoever with bookmakers, and we spend our lives dealing with gambles like this. So, so I mean, I mean, I mean we, we have come to expect this kind of thing, and and of course, over the course of the year, it is fair to say bookmakers do make money out of gambles. So I'll say that up front. Okay, in relation to this but, one, when did you suss it out? I mean, was, was, your, was your traders aware of it in the almost, night before, in the morning, or what happened? Almost immediately. I mean, almost immediately. I mean, we, didn't, we didn't actually spot the horses in the declarations the night before, but as soon as the first bet of the morning came into, into our office, we, we picked it up. So we, we, we limited our exposure in this, and in, in, you know, we, we, we lost almost nothing. And that's not, really not the point. Um, the point is, you know, I mean, this is another extremely naked gamble, a two fingers up to British racing perpetrated by Donovan and Butler with their scandalous comments to the Racing Post today, who have the, who have the nerve to print it, to say that they knew nothing about it, they don't any, know anything about betting and this kind of nonsense. I mean, who, 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 who writes this stuff? So from your point of view, what you're saying is, you don't mind the gambling happening, but you're just saying, well, why don't they just come out openly afterwards and say, well, yeah, we were, we were a part of it? Because, I mean, if you look through the history, they're all, uh, they're all, all linked in one way or another to Barney Curley, right? Gambling is what, gambling is what I and, and, and all the rest of the bookmakers make money out of. No question about it. We will, we will win on here on, the, on this kind of thing. It, 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 that, that's not really the point. The point, my, my crusade in racing is the confidence in the product. It's not just, it, I've looked at, sorry, I've looked at the, the comments on Twitter from the various, from the various people that, that vary from people who've obviously been part of the gamble and are absolutely delighted and consider Barney Curley or, sorry, Donovan and Butler uh, as heroes because they're able to make a 112-rated horse win off 56. Um, and and it, so I've seen these comments, and then I've seen a lot of comments from people who, describing the game as crooked, bent, Beats, all this kind of stuff. I mean, is this what? Is this really what we want the the the, the industry to be associated with? And in relation to the, the BHA, um, what should they have done? And 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 are you just saying that? I mean, they come out and said they don't make any comments. But I mean, what's your theme of what the BHA should be doing? Your your personal sure, view. On this? Surely it's time for the British Horse Racing Authority board, main board, to sit down. And, and really look at the, how, how, they, how they deal with the integrity of the sport. I mean, it's not good enough to run more low-quality product and, 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 and do nothing about the integrity, not punish anybody for this kind of behaviour, because undoubtedly it should be punished. And, 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 I mean, these horses, are, these horses are predominantly last. Who's speaking up for the punters who, who backed any of these horses in their previous 47 events and got beat like rabbits. Most of them got beat into last place. And, and also the and point, how is this is condoned? I mean, also the point must be added that the, 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 they weren't just the only gambles at Kempton last night. There were a couple of other ones that were backed into big prices into to short prices. But what about the one today, though? Um, Piper's Piping um, was backed in from 20s to 6 to 4, uh, drifted out a little bit. I mean, was that genuine money or was that sort of uh, a bit of bookmaker trying to get a bit of money back? Bookmakers will make money out of gambles because enough of them will get beat for us to profit. It's, the other point that we're making is you're talking on your show tonight talking about people who cannot get on with British bookmakers. Hmm. And that's what you're going to be discussing. All these people that think that Barney Curley or, or Donovan and Butler are all heroes in British are, are exactly the people that make it difficult for, the, for bookmakers to consider laying bets at this, on this product. So in, in conclusion then, I, I mean obviously you're not happy because of the nature of, of, of the handicap. What about the handicapping system? Do you think that's wrong? Do you think it was to be able to manipulate it because of that? Well, clearly, 
clearly the, the you know the handicapping system whereby you know they, the, the biggest benefit of course was the fact that they, these horses hadn't run for at least a year and so therefore were dropped a further considerable 10 odd pounds whatever the whatever the whatever the drop was and and so of course they benefited from that but but uh, but I'm, I'm, what concerns me is is the integrity the confidence in the product not just from the customers who bet on it who fund the sport but for the bookmakers who actually have a choice what well, are we going to are we going to lead on racing are we going to promote racing or are we going to promote our gaming products? No, Which got, would you do? No, you've got valid points. And if, if, they, if, if they're going to make more money elsewhere, then racing's going to be the ones to suffer. Um, thank you very much for your time tonight, Jeff. I appreciate it. Um, hopefully well, we'll get you back on the, on the chairs uh, very soon. Take care. All the best. Thanks.